Hello, Wealthy family, and thank you for coming and sharing some time with us today. I'm here with my beautiful, amazing husband, and we just decided to do a joint video and talk about some things that we get asked about a lot, like how to have a healthy relationship. So a little bit of background of us. We've known each other for 19 years. Um, we are, we have been married for five, right? Going on six. Um, we've had an off and on relationship, but through it all, we've remained strong. It's helped us grow together and it's helped us fortify our relationship. And everything we're going to share with you today is strictly from our experience, not from any professional. Of course, we're not licensed. We haven't been to any counseling, but just what our experience has led us to come to know <laughs> on how to have a healthy, happy, thriving, evolving relationship. So the number one question that we always get asked, always, 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 is how do we remain so happy together? You see, a lot of people with this quarantine have been stuck at home <laughs> and they're now with spouses that they normally wouldn't be around so much, right? Because you go to work and you come home, you have to handle things in the house. You don't really interact too much with your spouse. So now you're up close and personal and you got to get to know them. And people are turning around and they're like, I don't know this person and they're not very happy <laughs> so people always ask us how do we remain happy how do i not want how do i not smother him with a pillow every night <laughs> and so what is your take baby how how do you how would you interpret that or how would you answer that uh for me uh fine i mean appreciating valuing because I've been through bad experiences. So a simple answer is that even though you have bad experiences with previous significant others or so-called significant other situationships, relationships, and you come across somebody good, you, you learn to value that. You learn to appreciate that, you know, for me. And I mean, just the, just the intangible things, you know what I mean? Because again, bad experiences something comes across i mean you appreciate it you value that you know you grow that person you know what i mean you you you, you look at their strengths and their potentials and you try to grab that and elevate that you know what i mean depending on but that would fall on me as an individual also you know what i'm saying i i gotta see that you know what i mean i gotta see those intangible things and and try to uplift her, build her, inspire her, you know, boost confidence and things like that, you know. And so that's one reason, that's one of many reasons that, that you know, that will get things to work, if you want to say that. Yeah, and for me, it's important that we, we laugh. All the time because sometimes I can be a bit of a bitch and he knows how to transmute that energy he knows how to turn that energy around and make me laugh or make me comfortable or make light of the situation not saying that he doesn't take things serious but he always has a playful energy about him yeah he knows because I call him all the time a big child I'm like you're such a big freaking child I feel like I have six children but he's amazing at doing that and he's amazing at making me feel amazing it's important to feed each other and compliment each other and boost each other so although he raises me up although he builds me up and he sees things in me that i don't always see in myself i in turn have to do that for him as well because everyone needs to be poured into, okay? So that's our, our how to say happy secret. <laughs> well, let me, let me say this too, right? Uh huh. About my uh, facetiousness or my humor. I mean, life can be hard as it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In, in this human experience, you know, you just have you, your own self or whatever. You can, it's too easy to be miserable. It's too easy to suffer. Yeah. Why give it that energy? You know what I mean? 
thing you got to think of the little things you take for granted. You know what I'm saying? It's it's some people out here starving. It's some people out here trying to figure out how they're gonna pay their bills. It's some people out here in broken homes getting abused right now as we speak. You know what I mean? You got to find the you know you got to think what you take for granted and highlight that because laughter keeps you living a long time. Yes. Laughter is healthy. Yes. There's a time and place for everything. Don't get me wrong. But I think even before I put myself in a position where I feel like I can be in control of our domain and help us, you know, navigate through greatness, you know what I'm saying? Come on, baby. Come oh, give me a kiss. Hurry up. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video. Oh, but no even, even though you can navigate through Shania. greatness oh. or whatever. Oh, we have a technical Sorry, y'all. Yeah, this is the product of our love. Say mm -hmm. hi. Hi. Okay. Bye. Take the dog with you. Go, Loki. Come on, Loki. Sorry, she just got home, so even, she had to let us know. Even though you know, the more the more you elevate, the more you're not worried about little stuff because you're in control of that situation. It's on us, on um, which way we want to take it. You know what I'm saying? We we can sit here and be miserable and find things to be pessimistic about but that's low energy you know you yeah. you want to look at the bright side of things because everything starts with a mind and thought you know what i mean sometimes mm -hmm. you you know what some um, not to be so sensitive towards things though such and such talk shit well they can't whoop me such and such talking shit well they ain't paying my bills you know what i'm saying so right. we gotta that, keep it here we gotta right. keep it between us Whatever, it, and that's another secret, right? You're not to tell everybody everything that's happening in your relationship because people perceive things differently. So it's good to keep that communication open, which is what the next question was gonna be, right? How do we keep the lines of communication flowing? Because that in itself, effective communication is so important to having a healthy relationship, no matter what type of relationship it is. If you do not have effective communication, you have nothing, okay? So keeping that communication between ourselves, no matter how minute we may think it may be, no matter how small you think it may be, I always tell him, you know, no, even if I feel that sometimes it's, it's girl stuff, I'd still tell him, <laughs> like, you have to know, right? He, got, he has to know. There is no secret. There's nothing that I withheld from him because if anything were to happen, I'd want him to have the full information or have the full story. And I want him to be able to trust me. If I give him half stories or half truths, as I have before, I had a bit of a lying problem when I was younger. So <laughs> I've done that before. I've seen what that does and it doesn't help anything. So now we have to be transparent. Now I have to let him know, okay, this is what's going on. That is what builds trust, having that effective communication. You wanna elaborate? Yeah, communication is a, is a major key, but what goes with communication is two other things called trust and respect. You know what I'm saying? That you, you, with communication, you want that for me because a person could communicate with you and being trying you and being bold about something too. <laughs> yeah. So you want respect. That's where the respect come in at. And you definitely want trust because if you don't have trust, you're not going to have closure. And if you don't have closure, it's going to, it's going to be an unhealthy relationship and you're going to be wasting your time because it's going to, if it don't get fixed, it's, it, it's, it's going to fall apart. It's going to you know, you eventually gonna be wasting time. Yeah. So with with the the trust and respect with communication, you with those three things, you want to create a synchronicity. You know, you want to be on the same page because what that does that kills insecurities and all types of other stuff. Because when you lack one of those three things, you're going to have insecurities. Unless and, and sometimes you can be in a situation where where somebody's trusting but the others not or somebody's looking for a reason to do something, so they're playing reverse psychology, they doing something, so they want you to be doing something, so they're, they're looking for a reason, mm -hmm. right. So those three things, you got that, you got that synchronicity, you really don't have no worries because you'll be on the same page, you know what I'm saying? And you can, you can flow forward like that, you know what I'm saying? 
it's not always going to be easy in new relationships because you got to feel each other out. You know what I'm saying? Things take time to kind of mesh together, you know. But long as you, you, you be, if both sides are being genuine, you know what I mean? It eventually, it will idle out and, and start to flow forward. You know what I mean? Anything else you want to elaborate on? No, no. You got it. So the next thing is, is there anything that's ever uh, unforgivable? Has there been, is there any circumstance that would make me leave him, divorce him, or vice versa? Now, our history, you just saw, like I said, the product of our love. She's 16. <laughs> so we've we've known each other for 19 years. Obviously, we've had a child at 16. So we've been in each other's vortex for a while. But we had children from other people. We've been married to other people. Um, we've gone through a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that we've gone through. But the one thing, the only the one thing right now that would cause me to leave him, <laughs> to cut it off and call it quits, is disrespect. That's it. See, you have to lay the foundation and the boundaries. If you truly love someone, you won't just up and leave them or be upset with them or call it quits over something minute. But disrespect, being disrespected is something I can't tolerate. So before you decide to get into a relationship, you all really need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and say, hey, this is what I'm with, this is what I'm not with, this is what will happen if this and this and this and this and this. So that way everyone is clear about, I don't want to say the rules, but the guidelines to the relationship because everyone feels different. Everybody has gone through different things, so everybody's going to react differently right so if you lay down and say or if you lay down the foundation and say this and this and this and this and therefore your spouse knows now they're not playing a guessing game of what's going to make them happy what's going to make them angry what's going to make them sad how do i deal with this you know what i'm saying you you lay that down so they understand and he knows don't disrespect me just don't try me because i'm not in his words the hardest person to get along with most of the time <laughs> no, so no, all right, I mean, so let me ask you this. Okay. This is yes. This was, so if I call you a bitch, oh, that could be that you're gonna just up and leave me. If I, I don't feel that's disrespectful, oh, and that's oh, in the context. Oh. So and do you the, walk around the house just calling me bitches no, and hoes? No, okay, I don't exactly. call you queens and goddesses. Okay, like thank that. you. you know <laughs> he saying? worships but, me, so oh, so I know that if he does say those things, I know it's not a context of disrespect. See, you already know it's, it's what trash talking, right, right? Exactly. I know what you mean, but I'm just saying I want you to be transparent, transparent. for the Got people it. out okay. there watching. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll say this, right? I'm spoiled, y'all. <laughs> just as he's spoiled, so for me to be disrespectful, boy, I have to do something blatantly stupid because I'm yeah. spoiled as fuck. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and lie, but boy, but you know what I'm saying? I thought she was going to say some gay shit or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not in your body, baby. No, right? Sorry. No, no, I wouldn't even. Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> but anyway, I'm with us. We old we, school. We, we don't play that we gay done, shit. We done, um, talk about disrespect, man. We done broke all the golden rules. Like, we yeah. done. So, because we done been there, done that, and you know what I'm saying? We done had children from other people and shit, like. And we still here? Like, what? It's that love. It's that respect. But we always, well, we, it's it's more than that. Outside of the love and, and the respect, we always been friends. We always had yeah. a close friendship, so that's major. You want to have a friendship develop because just like when I was out there fucking different hoes and shit, she knew about it. I talked to her about it. I'm like, man, da 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 da, -da. So, those things when you when you collaborate you it it um it kills the insecurity because now you know me you know what i'm saying uh -huh. you may know you now you know how i stick and move she knows what i'm with i'm not with and vice versa you know what i'm saying if she was talking to somebody else i'd be on another phone yeah i'd be like man 
that nigga full of shit or whatever the case may be. Blah, he blah, give blah, me blah, the blah. game. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that level of friendship, not on that, we we already done had this ain't before the daughter. This is after the daughter. You know what I'm saying? So we done we done been off and on, but even with our off and ons, it's it's because of just I guess timing. I moved away and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, I didn't got with this person, or oh, now I'm single and free, but now she with somebody, and then it was like, see, but do the whole time, we, you know what I'm saying? We had communication, we had a friendship, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And and that and that's what made it strong. So mm -hmm. it got to a point when I was open and free, and she was open and free. I'm like, okay, let's make this happen. I'm a single parent. You a single parent? I'm a single parent with my two kids. You a single parent with three, and we share one. One of the three is mine, man. Let's Brady bunch this shit. You get what I'm saying? And collaborate. You know what I'm saying? So we have a blended family at work. I know all her children since she was born. Since yeah. they were born, she know mine. My oldest daughter, she knew since she was probably about one and a half, two years old. So, you know, for all that history and all that going through, so where is the insecurities going to be? You know what I'm saying? Because she not stupid too. Because I feel like. I'm valued. I feel like I'm a golden goose. I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, folks, yes, but I feel like I'm smart enough and I bring a lot to the table and stuff yes, like does. that. And she does intangible things that hold this sport mm -hmm. down. My youngest child has special needs and she is phenomenal with him. You know what I'm saying? You would have thought she pushed him out like real shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that just it meshes. You know what I'm saying? We, we have our own like little system and stuff like that or you know but so for her to do something for if if because i i want to be fair because she said okay disrespect uh let me see i don't i don't know i don't i don't think that because because i'm perfect there's nothing i can do to do wrong right no this i ain't I'm not nah. gonna say all that now, but <laughs> I'm just saying though, like I feel like we winning, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See? Like, like if we did what I mean shit, you did some shit, you know what I'm saying, but it with it with another guy or something and shit like that. I mean, fuck. I'm gonna be mad, but whatever. That motherfucker must be raw, boy. He must be. I would shake a motherfucker's hand. I, I don't and know. And the one person, the one pass, the one celebrity pass that I had, I don't even want. I don't know. I don't even, because I, I don't know. I, I'll, shake, I'll <laughs> shake somebody's hand, boy. Nigga, like, listen, boy. Hey, yeah. you, hey you, you must got it. I got to give you a prop. I, I can't even be mad at the brother, because obviously he got good taste, so I ain't going to be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd be more mad uh, at her, you know what, what I'm type saying? Of I'd be like, damn, okay. Okay, guys. We to walk, but, we, <laughs> but shoot, we got asses, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. We, uh, we, like, we winning. Like. But <laughs> that's for that's an established relationship, once again, that goes hand in hand with that, <laughs> right? But as you as you can I mean, see, shit, where... I ain't finna go to jail, shit. I ain't finna be no. and shoot up everybody and all that crazy shit. And then I go to jail and be locked up and... The motherfucker you cheating with or whatever, if I ain't kill you or the other motherfucker, <laughs> you're going to be with that motherfucker anyway. It, if, and, and let me say this since I'm on that subject. A lot of times people cheat and shit like that out of convenience. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They do a convenience because in a lot of relationships or situationships and stuff like that, Somebody might be working, busting ass, and the other person got a little bit more time, on the other hand, and they done uh, fell into the lust or whatever you want to yeah. call it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever glitters ain't gold or, you know, whatever they think they missing. Exactly. And it's convenient because the person getting cheated on a lot of times is the person paying the bills, financing the goddamn relationship. Yep. <laughs> you know what yep. I'm saying? But see, that's the thing. That's where it falls in communication because you should say, hey, I'm not feeling whole and complete in this relationship. There's an issue. So before I go and step out, we should be grown enough to be able to come together and communicate what it is that we need from each other. And I'm not saying have unreasonable expectations, but accept each other for who they are. I knew that he has certain traits that I may not have agreed with, but I can deal with that. I can handle that. 
There's certain things that I, I, I got a ghetto side, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it did the Dade County 305, Liberty City, all that shit. Yes. North Dade, Carroll City. Oklahoma, and I am, in his shit. words, and the suburban Northwest Bay. Dade yeah. Shit, you know I grew I mean? up in Miami, too, but on the suburban side, I was sheltered. So, you know, sometimes I'd be like, what is he doing? But I accept him for who he is because that's what I fell in love with. And at the end of the day, that's what you have to remember. But I, even though I grew up in the hood, I had a sacramento side and it kind of brought me a balance because you know what i'm saying i have been places even though i lived in the inner city so it made me diverse also so i had an intellectual side to my ghetto sense where i could tap in you know what i mean and just yeah. hold uh converse that outside the box on different things different yeah. styles just kind of good dialogue right 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 you know kind of yeah. season across the board you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying e even though I had those hood experiences and I was somewhat a product of the environment. I still had a, a side to me where, you know what I'm saying? I can fit in and blend in with different styles. And then I went to middle school in the suburbs and Aventura and shit like that. So, you know, it, it, it built, it helped build my that diversity. Balance. Right, yeah, right, right. get that balance. And that's what the secret of life is, having a balance and everything, right? I always got to so, find a balance. So always got to find a balance. <laughs> always gotta find about oh and let me say one thing before i forget too mm -hmm. because i said a lot of times the person finances get cheating on but sometimes the person that's doing the finances do the cheating but a lot of times just say if it's the dude that's financing the relationship and he's the one cheating a lot of times the females they will be complacent or turn the cheek or lie to themselves because they feel like they may not have nothing or what they gonna do and there's kids if involved yeah. so they kind of swallow that shit and whatever and and you know the the but dude finance not happiness. disrespect or, that or sometimes lead to happiness at all or sometimes yeah the female finance a relationship and that a lot of time that's when the guy ball her car picking up other chicks and shit and whatever, whatever. again communication you know they missing it you missing the point but they some, missing it sometimes <laughs> sometimes it falls on personality traits on mm -hmm. how they match up and how they align some yeah. people you know connect and and they, and they have something going and some people Ooh. it just hit or miss it's like trying to force trying to force something you know what i'm saying right. whatever it is maybe they got babies or something maybe a one mm -hmm. night stand and somebody got praying it or they trying to work it out for the kids sake or maybe yeah. it's hard being single because you need help with the bills but this motherfucker here ain't doing it so you trying to uh trying to tie that goddamn right in it right just, and it's... they're forcing it because then again you're not being real you're not being true to yourself but so, sometimes it's hard out there by yourself now it you know is what I'm, hard. Saying? I'm not so saying that it's not some but people, you if know. you want to have a healthy relationship you have to one and this is if you don't take anything else from this, from our conversation at all, take this. You cannot have a healthy relationship with someone else if you don't have a healthy relationship with yourself. yourself exactly. You have to know yourself and love and accept yourself first. And then you can work on being in connection with someone else. Okay? So I hope those tips helped you. I hope this conversation brought a little more insight, right? We want to make sure that we take the information and we go and we apply it right because applied mm -hmm. knowledge is what makes you powerful so until next time wealthy family thank you for coming and hanging out with us and sharing some time with us today be sure that you stay alert you stay aware and you live in love